morning, Jen. So there was a lot that was settled with this vote, but most important for parents is the new early release Fridays. Starting this year, all elementary schools will get out at 1.45 every Friday afternoon. For 20 of those early release Fridays, there will be after school activities for students until 3 p.m. And on the other 12 Fridays of the year, every school in the district will get out at 145, giving teachers extra time for prep and training. Another change that will be directly affecting students, combined grade classrooms. 41 classrooms across the district will now be combined, but that's less than the 60 rooms the district expected to change initially. Now this budget passing answered a lot of questions about layoffs as well. Here's a breakdown of those numbers. The district is laying off nine teachers, which is significantly less than the 183 they were planning on letting go. That's partly thanks to state and reserve money and teachers just deciding to leave on their own. Of staff, 67 will have to leave, but again, that's less than the expected 142 staff layoffs. Also, there will be no more librarians in schools. Those workers will become just regular classroom teachers and clerks will take care of the libraries. And part of the past budget did pull from reserves. The district is taking out about $3 million, leaving a little over $23 million in those reserve funds. It was a unanimous 4-0 vote that passed this budget, and we only have to wait a few weeks to see how it works out for the district as school starts back up on August 29th. In studio, I'm Nicole Hernandez. I'll send it back to you, Jen.